coach. Coach, uh, when the season came out and uh, you looked at the region, what were your initial thoughts? Obviously, celebration. <laughs> celebration. You know, I'm so proud of this team uh, to know that you're going to the dance. We had already punched our ticket for what we did um, in Nashville, but it's still the adrenaline of seeing your name come up. So proud of this team. Um, we're ready for business next. It seems like you're the most hyped one out of the group right now because we keep saying you going around to keep saying hot 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 they just talked about hot teams there's no hotter team in kentucky right now on a 10 game win streak do you feel like that has helped the perception of this program and that you are a team to be feared going forward um we are a hot team i'm proud of, of what we've done coming down the stretch uh 10 games in a row but we talked about it in practice we have work left to do it is a new season this is the final uh chapter of our season uh and we have work to do Given all the familiarity that's going to be coming up, you know, former players on Charlotte played Indiana this year at Princeton a couple of years ago. How do you approach that as a coach when maybe you know so many of the moving parts on other teams? Um, it's March Madness. It's called Survive in Advance. One game at a time, that'll be our focus. So Princeton uh, is the most important uh, game on our schedule because they are next. Obviously, given, some things. Given that, how did that tournament, how did that SEC run prepare you for this? Well, I think it gave us a lot of confidence uh, going into March. Um, we are playing extremely well, um, but we have to keep rolling. Our work is not uh, done yet. Coach, obviously, I mean, first team to knock out the top three seeds. Uh, even during that run, even though you have the title in your hands, what are some things that you know you saw in the tournament, if you just go back and look at the tape, that you want to change uh, as you enter an uh, even bigger tournament? You know, we had an unbelievable run, and what we did defensively in Nashville, um, that's the type of defensive intensity that we need. Uh, the three ball, rhythm shots, I thought we shared the basketball. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to bring that into March. Uh, rebounding, it will have to travel with us. Uh, defense will have to travel with us, and our heart to compete. And that was our message going to the SEC tournament, and nothing changes. Obviously, some things change, Coach, with uh, players and coaches. But when you all played Princeton, I think back in 2019, what do you remember about that game and just that kind of program? Um, you know, Princeton is a really good team. Um, and it was a dogfight the last time we played them. And I don't see um, that changing. Everybody wants to uh, win in March. Obviously, we'll go watch the film um, and get ready uh, for the upcoming game. What's the last week been like for you and your staff and your players just getting all the gratification and well wishes and you know congratulations that you guys deserve? Well, it's been a whirlwind. Um, like I said, so proud of this team, uh, the community, uh, the people of Kentucky were so excited and proud. It's been 40 years. Um, we took a couple of days off, and then I text the players before we practiced and said, congratulations, you did something really big. But when we come back to practice, that is over. We're going back to work. We must remain hungry and humble and focused. Just in your experience, what is the difference between entering the NCAA tournament after winning an SEC tournament versus not winning and maybe the, the change that happens on a team? Um, but I think it's all a reset. It is a new season, um, and you just have to be focused on the job uh, at hand. And right now, it's Princeton. Well, Ryan getting another shot here at the end uh, on a national stage. You know, it kind of suits her game and, and what she's done over the years, doesn't it? You know, so proud of Ryan and what she's done. She struggled early, um, but down the stretch, she's shown people why she uh, is the best player in the country. She can score at all three levels. Um, she can defend. Um, she can lead her team through adversity. Um, and this is the final run, and I'm I'm excited to sit back and watch to see what she does. I saw the video where like the little robot delivered you like a bunch of stuff <laughs> outside of the memorial. What was in that little package? I think it was like Sprite maybe perhaps? Or I know. They brought me all my favorites. I know. Don't tell Coach Taylor, but they brought Twinkies, <laughs> Reese Cups, <laughs> Snickers. Um, I mean, now that is, that is a true gift for a coach who loves uh, treats. Anything else? Thanks, everybody. Go Cats!